Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back if you are already a subscriber and if you're not, then welcome for the first time. You are in the right place. So don't forget to subscribe because you'll get a whole bunch of benefits, which are... Well, just watching a girl do what she likes and enjoys. So maybe you'll enjoy it too. The point of this video is to try new things because every time that I find a new makeup technique that I like, I get stuck with it and I don't do anything else. That will be my routine for months until I find something else that I like and the cycle repeats itself. And this was one of the times that I found a new technique that I liked. It was this video by Roxette Arisa titled 14 makeup techniques that will literally transform your face. And trust me, it does. So if you want to see what these techniques are, don't forget to check obviously Roxette's original video. I will put the link to it in the description box, but also check my video to see how I do these techniques and how I implement them to my makeup routine because I'm super happy with the result. One quick disclaimer before we begin, my exams are coming soon. So if I disappear for a while, you already know who it is. It's your boy. Stress. Stress. But yeah, let's enjoy it for one more time before I jump in that dark spiral. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with the video. The first thing she does is brows, and that is super different for me because. I always do my brows last because then I have to be very careful with my foundation. But today we are following her instructions. It's her way. So construction is still happening. So I'm really sorry if you hear background noise. By the way, look at my new mirror. Great. My friends got me for my birthday. You're the greatest. What I like to do with my brow makeup or my brow pencil is fill in a little bit more up here so we're lifting and extending the brows and almost giving us that start of the snatch from our base, from our brows. So I always fill in any sparse areas underneath my arch. But once I get to the part where my brows go down, I actually take the pencil on top of the tail of the brow and start to draw a line outwards. They look way thinner than they usually do, but hers do as well. So this is what we're doing today. It is about trying new things after all. Now for another thing I never do is carving my eyebrows. Then you're just gonna go ahead and clean up in the exact same shape. And we're really using this concealer to like carve out the shape even more so. I'm really trying to stick with that like high end end okay also the whole glue in the brows situation it's a game changer no that is not happening because i don't have clear lash glue the only one i have is black so imagine how good that will look so no that is not happening i'm just going with my regular brow gel broke girls don't have clear lash glue the satisfaction of applying brow gel so good Okay, so eyes. I always like to accentuate this outer third of my eye. Um, because Same. I, I just feel like that gives me a lot of confidence. It gives me kind of like, not sexy eyes, but you know the vibe. Yes. That's why I always go for the dark eyeshadow in the outer corner. I don't know why, but I completely agree with her. It gives you the sexy vibes, you know? Just the right amount of confidence I need. This is why I love Roxette. By the way, does this hairstyle look good on me or do I look like David Bisbal? Or like the singer from Mana? All my Latinos out there, you know who I'm talking about. Just some concealer so I can cover up a little bit of my unevenness on my eyelids. Actually, this is another tip that I got from you guys um, in that video. But I've been loving using a cream contour stick in my eye primer section. It's a lot more forgiving than like a uh, powder eyeshadow. I never thought of that and I think it's super clever. So 21 who sent her that tip and to her for showing it to the rest of the world, thank you. Of course, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's good. 
I don't really have a brush to blend this, but always working with what I have is a sponge, a tiny sponge. So I'm going to use this one. That is super natural, but it makes a difference. I'm going to take Naked 2 from the Urban Decay Naked Basics. And I'm going to start to build up, like I said, the outer third of the eye. So we're going to be... Ex that is not the right shade. <laughs> I'm going to take Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance palette. Be extending this eyeshadow out towards the end of the brow. Next up, I'm going to take 5 a.m. that it is in the Naked Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette and a tapered brush. And I'm gonna take this, pointing the brush down to really pinpoint the area that we're applying this. And we're gonna airbrush that onto the lash line. And so my next step that really, really, you know, can help to shape the face is winged eyeliner. And I know this step can be a little intimidating, but honestly, once you start doing it a little bit more and once you get more comfortable, it's actually really pretty easy to do. Um, it's just, it just takes practice. I just find gels so, so much easier to use than line, than like a liquid liner because liquid liner, Sometimes it can be shiny, first of all, and highlight areas you don't want to highlight. And also, I just feel like I like my hands aren't smooth enough for liquid liners. That's true, especially if you are a beginner or you are too afraid of winged eyeliner, try the gel one. I swear, it is so much easier, especially if you have a brush that it is like this because it does the job for you. So you wanna start from the edge of the pupil and make a small little line. Then I go up towards where I want the liner to end and I kind of make a little, a little mark just to map it out and then I'll connect those two. Moving on to lashes, any lash is gonna change the way that your eyes look because it makes your eyes look a lot bigger, making kind of, you know, your face look a little smaller. I mean, I knew this was coming, but I didn't want it to be now. I love lashes, but like I said many times before, Applying them is so hard. Do I want to do it? Do I risk failing? Can this be enough, for said? And if you don't want to wear lashes and you just want to do mascara um, and get a similar effect, I would take the tip of your mascara wand and extend out the, um, let's hear it one more time, the outer third of the lashes so we're so she gives an option in case you don't want to wear false lashes so i'm really thinking about it you know i'm debating whether i should apply false lashes or not because yes they are beautiful and yes they would make me prettier but they are false am i really thinking about that or am i just scared <laughs> Moving on to the face, she doesn't really explain what she uses as a primer, but I already primed my face as well because, hey, now I have a skincare routine! It is finally happening! I finally bought a serum and a cream, so now I have like a four-step skincare routine. <gasps> Bougie! So if you want to see what my new skincare routine is, and it's pretty much cruelty-free, parabens-free, and all the good stuff. So yeah, if you want to see my skincare routine, then just comment down below and I'll give you what you want. Her foundation is super light and she applies it with a brush. So I'm going to do that as well. And my foundation is the Lancome Tint Miracle, which is pretty light as well. That is really upsetting me. I'll fix it later. Try not to look at it for now. Don't, don't look at it. This is why I don't do my brows first. So we're gonna start really sculpting out the face. So I'm gonna start off with just a little um, color corrector just to cancel out the discoloration. I don't have a color corrector, but I do have these NYX concealer, which is too pink for me, but it is good for the under eye bags. She planted it with her finger. <gasps> 
don't even tell me I was not recording. Oh my God, I don't think I recorded my nose contour and I'm literally so sad because I had the best tips in there. And nose contour would be great for me because, you know, it has happened to me, so I get it. Can't blame you there. So I'm just going to copy pretty much what she has. She did the concealer technique everyone's doing. Think a little here, not that I need to highlight my chin. Kind of looks like she makes it very round around here. Wow, queen of asymmetry. And we're gonna go ahead and press all of this into the skin. I do definitely recommend for your concealer, let it sit on your skin for a little bit while you apply your contour. Not only does it help you map out your contour, but it actually makes the concealer a little bit more full coverage as well. Because it's really gonna be sticking into the skin and on the pores. Okay, my skin right now. Look at that glow. Now for some liquid highlight. So again, this is actually a step that like you'd be surprised how much it changes your face. Another thing I don't have liquid highlighter. So I'm going to use this one from the highlighting contour palette. Palette. Because the shade looks like the one she wears. She applies it with a sponge. So maybe that makes it different. So this is love. Mm -hmm painting on different highlights. I squeeze the blender together and I focus it kind of where the bridge of my nose dips a little bit. Once we have the shape down, then we go in with our second layer of concealer. More concealer? It is just in the inner corner. To again, bring attention to this area right here. Then she also uses a liquid blush and it is very sheer, very much like nothing i'm just gonna use max blush in the shade peaches can change your face shape as well if you apply from the apples back towards the hairline that's gonna give you a more lifted appearance if you apply on the apples of your cheeks up towards the eyes that gives you a little bit more of that baby doll look next up it's like she said bronze door i already set my face in place just here and here only where i applied the concealer to use a contour brush to add definition and really define the face with this and i even take it down into this like hollow area which i feel really helps to shape the face as well another technique i love is doing this right here boom now i only leave that on for like a couple seconds honestly because i don't really want a harsh line that makes so much difference i don't know why i never do it my timothy shablagu i am really loving this I don't know how many times I've said that already, but it's true. I mean, you should try this. I'm gonna amp up the highlight with a powder highlighter. It might not be Patrick Toss, but it is from Spain and my mother's, so it is just as special. I feel like in a 2000s music video. More highlight, I'm in. I'm just gonna go on top of the exact areas that we have that liquid highlighter down because these just gonna accentuate it even more. Normally, I put highlight here in the middle of my forehead, but I know that a lot of beauty gurus apply it only here in the brow bone. And honestly, I'm not mad. I want to go with a lip pencil that is about the same color, maybe one or two shades darker than your skin tone. Focus the overdraw right into the Cupid's bow. You wanna use two different lip products because that's what's gonna give you the most plump, most like juicy looking lips. I'm just gonna go right in the middle to plump that up, plump up the center of the lips. I never did this trick of only applying lip gloss in the middle of my lips. I always just go to town and apply it everywhere. Does it make a difference? I think it does. And my last tip is to take a little shimmery eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pop that right into the center of the eye. So here it is, the final look. I am in love. It is pretty much the same 
result I always try to go for and the techniques I try to use only these are somewhere different and the routine was different because the order was not the same as mine but I am loving it like I can't stop staring at the monitor but yeah so you should really try this because it is amazing so thank you so much Roxette Ariza for putting this video out there and you know I'm gonna go take a bunch of pictures right now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video and don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Instagram as well, on Twitter. I wouldn't recommend that you follow me on Twitter, but it's there just in case you want it. All my social media are in the info box down below. So don't forget to check that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.